the Poltergeist of Mackenzie and the Com Covenant's prison. Just there. Uh, I did a ghost walk um, um, on Tuesday, which actually leads into here. This apparently they say the Nazis were the first to do concentration camps, which was a load of rubbish because it was actually the British. Um, what happened was back in the day, I forgot the year, forgot the king. But anyway, a king came to throne and most of Scotland was Protestants. And what they used to do is um, what the king said, Alright, good day, Scotland, how are you? Um, we want you all to be Escapalladium. Sorry, Escapalladium. Um, sorry, yeah, anyway. And then the Scots turned around and said, Nah. And they signed a massive petition, which I got a photo um, of beforehand with everyone from all over Scotland coming and saying, Hey, mate, we want to, you know, we want to keep our religion. So the king wasn't happy with this, so what he did was he brought all these people up here. Um, he brought all his soldiers up here, and in this spot here, at the moment, he, used, he got about 1,500 people to lie down and either, well, either get shot dead or either change their religion from Protestant into S uh, fuck it, you know, anyway. So, the only way you could get out is either being shot or converting your faith. 1,300 people died in here. Now, on the ghost walk, and apparently there's a ghost in the third, um, the building thing, fucking whatever you want to call it, and um, what they did was they put us, they put us through those locked gates, and we went all the way in there. I didn't have my camera on me, so it was a shame. But those, um, they put about 40 of us into that little room there. Apparently, three people got uh, scratched. Two people ran out screaming. So apparently, it's one of the most haunted places in the world. Now, who was this Mackenzie guy? This Mackenzie guy was one of the worst people you could ever do, um, ever you know say he was a thief a criminal a murderer a rapist everything underneath the sun so apparently because he was that evil and this place is just so haunted because of the 1300 dead and the ghost that's why um, it's been locked up um, apparently from the, what the tour guide said that this place was opened about eight years ago not open but it was opened up until eight years ago and they actually locked it up because so many people were having issues in there. They were either fainting or being scratched or blood or they could feel things or hear things, blah, 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 blah. So the council, after a th I think it was 1,200 written complaints about that, had to lock it up. So I thought that was very interesting. Now, Mackenzie, the dude of all dudes, the evil shit, he was actually in this, he was actually buried in here. Now, I don't know about you freaks out there, but how cool would it be to go into this one for a night? You can't see much, all it is is a dead stone. But how haunted would that be to be here just for a night? It doesn't look like much, but if you think about the story that was just told in a graveyard. I don't know about you, but I've possibility of shitting yourself. So, we'll go back again. Um, lovely Edinburgh. Not a nice story about it. All right, I'll tell you one. Grey Friars Bobby. What happened back in the day, this guy had to come down from the Highlands down to Edinburgh. and had a little dog called Bobby. Um, and after the guy died, this dog every day at the same time, same, um, same time, sat on his tombstone and just sat there nice and quietly for 14 years. He sat there every day. And became an instant, you know, celebrity overnight. And now it's worldwide known for one of the most loyal dogs in the world. See, cat lovers out there. Cat wouldn't do that. But yeah, that was here as well. So it's a very interesting spot, this one. You got shitload of death over there. You got weird poltergeist dudes. And you got a nice loving story about dogs. So. Now I love this place and I'm so annoyed that I didn't have my camera on the ghost tour. I might do it, I might do it again. Um, I've got a friend who's going to actually be running one of the tours, so I'll see if I can jump on that one. Uh, anyway, that's enough from me. Bye.